a lot of our accounts and users are already investing in either explicit 3D models or you know, photogrammetry drone capture. So the question is, how do you get more value out of that investment already? And we think the iTwin platform is a perfect way to take those models into other experiences. And for that, we've developed a technique to get geometry from iTwin into Unreal Game Engine or other game engines. And why is that important? Well, that's what we're going to show you today. Once you're using Unreal Engine as a platform, you instantly unlock the ability to have like interactive gameplay, VR experiences, and even desktop experiences. Let's take a look actually over here. Uh, we're going to dive into this Jacobs project in Singapore. And we've got basic game-like navigation. If you look down here, Marcus is actually driving this with an Xbox game controller connected to this uh, TV here. But we're not just seeing the models running in Unreal Engine. Actually, this is the first time we've really shown this in a, in a live way. We just announced a new file export service called 3DFT, which allows Unreal Engine to make a call to an iTwin, an iModel, and start streaming these models down into the, into the engine to deliver this super high frame rate experience. And so if you just were to load this as a file into Unreal Engine, you'd never get this kind of uh, uh, immersive, like real-time experience. And you can see just the ease in which we can fly through and navigate these models. So that's that. Now let's take a look. We have the same application running over here, also connected in a VR experience. It works on a desktop, but the same app can also be wired up into here into a VR headset. So here's Danny, and he's inside the new Oculus uh, Meta Pro. So fully immersed in the same experience, and he's going to be teleporting right into the ITER nuclear fusion reactor site in France. And so here you're going to get a, 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 a very immersed perspective uh, experience of that model. And now Danny's standing inside the fusion nuclear reactor and can start walking around uh, inside that and be fully immersed at one-to-one -one real scale. And we can teleport to different locations. So the cool thing about this, everything you just saw today, that's available like right now. We literally just announced this new 3D FT export service, and that's what enables all these models to end up in Unreal Engine. So this is no longer science fiction. I know we talk about the metaverse as like the future, but it's actually here and it's like right now. <laughs>